finger on the oh. there you go. That's right. from the arpeggio to the tonalization um, before, right, as we were stopping, right. she was just starting Oh, okay. It. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought we had gone over the whole thing. My fault. So, I'll play four notes. You play them back, please. on the G string at the very end. This one, circle bows again, um, and there's also dynamics. So really think about yeah, what you... Where are the circles? Da, 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 Every time you have that. Okay. All right. So bend your thumb. So you need your thumb to help you with the circle bows and your pinky. You also um, figure out how much bow you need when you have the mezzo fortes and the pianos. Okay, go for it.
go. Wonderful. You're doing a great job um, getting those round fourth fingers. You're doing a great job with the repeat, the circle bows, the phrase endings, all of that. Um, I think the biggest thing in this one, your first fingers, you heard it, because you kind of looked at me like, huh? <laughs> your first fingers are just a teeny tiny bit too low, mm -hmm. so when you play the open strings, it sounds like the open strings are out of tune. Oh. It's, huh. Your first finger needs to be just like mm -hmm. one or two millimeters higher. That's it. Okay. To get that... Um, and you can tell on the D string, because uh, the first finger on the D string is an E, which is a ringing tone. On the A and E strings, they're not ringing tones, but you can hear from A to B or E to F sharp. I want you to try a first finger finger march. You're going to notice that what is straight across does not feel straight across. Actually straight across. Look at it. No. Just look at my hand. So you have to actually curl your finger in and then pull it out in order to make it straight across. Okay? Mm -hmm. Go for it. <laughs> so that's the opposite direction. Yeah. So start with the open string. fingers are not always going to the, you know, if they're not consistent, basically. Um, good. Yeah, and I heard dynamics. Um, what would you like to do next? Okay, great. So, do the hook those spots first. So that was a down bow start up. Good, you found the notes. Do the bowing in the air with me. Ready? Up, down, down, up, up. Now try it on your violin. Ready? Go. basically articulations, just like um, how you use your tongue articulates your speech, right? Mm -hmm. So that's your bow's job. 
its number two job, or the bowing's number two job is to get you in the right part of the bow for whatever phrasing or bowing you need. <laughs> All right. Um, and again, so that you can get the articulation that you want. So um, when you do a hook bow, it makes your bow more, or when you do two hook bows in a row, it makes, makes your bow more symmetrical. Or if you do a half note and then a dotted quarter with an eight as a hook, um, you know, so it, it, the hook bows are to make your bows more symmetrical so that you don't run out of bow. Don't go on me. So, um, <coughs> or so you don't go, bum, 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 Right? <laughs> so you wouldn't want to do that. So that's the whole point. Now later, there are some pieces, especially by Bach, that use asymmetrical bows. And we'll talk about how to do that later. But right now, this is probably the most important bowing you're ever going to need if you ever join an orchestra. So, don't you make sure the rest. This is also the same bowing you're going to use for two grenadiers and witches dance in book two. Okay? So, did you figure out the rest of Happy Farmer? Let's see what you've got. Don't worry if, if you get stuck, I'll help you. How does it turn Boom, boom. because you have that da, da, da at the end. Later, when you have this exact section, section again, it ends with the other phrase. Yeah. That da, 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 da. So you only have two more measures. Yeah, it's only two more measures left. And then everything else is repeated. OK? OK. Go on. Up, down, up, up. the beginning with the other phrase ending. Just make sure that you keep the bones that you did the whole the whole rest of the way through. That's the whole song. Easy enough? Aren't you glad it's repetitive? <laughs> <laughs>
<sighs> it seems longer because there's, um, you know, basically six phrases, yeah. but four of them are the same. <laughs> and the other two are the same. Waltz and Bore have the exact same A, A, B, A, B, A section. Just, you know, different pieces. Um, wonderful. So you've got this one figured out. Make sure that when you practice it, you get all the bowings and the two phrase endings in the right places. And otherwise, you've got it. You're not going to have any problems with it, I don't think. So, good. Um, phrase endings in the second half of minuet three. And in the first half, downstairs separate bowings. Do you want to play it together? Or by yourself? Can you do it three? Do you want to play it with me or by yourself?
those two are just, remember how we said that the ends of those are just slightly different. Yeah. Wonderful. You're doing a great job with this one. The bowings are there. Um, just get those two little phrase endings and you'll have it. And the intonation is there. Um, again, make sure your first finger is high enough, but other, you know, your fourth fingers are wonderful. You have the difference between the C sharps and the C naturals nicely. Um, you've got the repeats. You've got, you know, it, this is going to be a really easy one for you in another few days. So it's already mostly easy. It'll be really easy soon. Um, let's see. Why don't we go to your reading for a minute? I'm trying to think. Christmas songs, reading, gavotte. <laughs> So I know I asked you to review the rhythm in 39, but then we had a whole new rhythm in 40. What would you prefer to do? 40. Okay. Did you get up to 43 or no? To stand a little higher too. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So how about line four? Okay. Want you to scroll at the edge of the page? There you go. dotted half note, or your second tied half note was really good. You're skipping a couple of the oh, notes in there. So let's do it together. Ready? Have 
much higher your first finger is than what you expected. Good, next one. Uh, sorry, I skipped one. This is really the first one. When you go to put section D together, exactly. And then, of course, you'll smooth it out later. Like that. Okay? So start with just the, the little spots, and then when you're ready, go ahead and put the whole section D together. Okay. Very good. So what Christmas songs do you already know? Uh, jingle bells. Or, um, with the uh, verses or no? Um, Dashing through the snow. With that part or no? This? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. With the G sharp? Me though. Yeah. <laughs> I actually um played that instead of that. Oh, okay. And the first two well. Okay. Just a little bit half. That one's actually a really easy one if it's just a scale. So um that's gonna be smoother now. Okay, well, it's oh, yeah. kind of a medium one. Silent Night. Mm -hmm. Wow, you've learned a lot of them. Um, so, are these with the book or from memory? Um, with the book and from memory. Great. Yeah. Okay. So, I would prefer if you can play them without the book. Um, yeah. If you know how to sing them, it will help you remember them faster, mm -hmm. and it will help you play them better in tune mm -hmm. than if you're reading them. But um, if you absolutely have to have the book this year, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. You can bring a music stand and bring the book. Okay. okay. You want to pick, pick one? or? Um. Okay. second note of the slur, it's actually in the same bow, but there's a little space between the notes. But it's not oh. staccato, it's still long. Bum, 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 as da, 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 da. That sounds better. Yeah. Alright? Sorry, I, I know you're reading it, so you're kind of going, wait, what does that mean? <laughs>
like an arpeggio. Mm -hmm. questions on that? Yeah. All right, so keep it up, take it up. Thank you. We'll write out your practice chart, and I won't see you next week because it's actually Thanksgiving Day. Mm -hmm. I don't think you want to come for a lesson on Thanksgiving.